Thank you very much, Denny. We are down here at the Foundation Club where Mayor Hardy Davis is celebrating four more years. The mayor right behind me here. And mayor, congratulations. Four years ago, 75% of the vote tonight. A little bit of a nail biter. Your reaction to the results tonight? Very nice. So what was the question, George? Well, your, your reaction <laughs> to the results tonight. Well, uh, Bit of a well, nail biter after last, four years ago. Well, it's certainly the, uh, the, the margin of victory is different than t uh, 2014. But nonetheless, I think that the thing that we're most pleased with is that the citizens of Augusta uh, came out to the polls. Uh, they voted, and they said, we want to give you four more years. Uh, I think when you look at the body of work that the commission has done, that we've done over the last four years, positioning Augusta to be that premier city in the state of Georgia in which to live, to learn, to work, and to raise a family. I think that speaks volumes to the citizens uh, that came out and voted in this election. Uh, I'm pleased with the results. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to roll up our sleeves after taking some time off and uh, getting back in the saddle and making sure that we're making Augusta uh, a place of choice for people all across America. Are we still one Augusta or are we divided tonight? Well, well, I think when you look at the results, uh, clearly we are still one Augusta. Uh, that's what people have come to the polls and said. I think when you look again, uh, that we were successful tonight. Uh, I think that, uh, again, we came out, we campaigned, we did the things that were necessary in order to be successful. And so, uh, again, we want to be gracious in just telling the people of Augusta, thank you for giving us four more years. Yeah. Congratulations, Mayor Hardy Davis, staying the course, surrounded by his beautiful mother and lovely wife. My uh, son, Benjamin, they're having a great time here. Let's go down to D. Griffin at, uh, with Gould Hagler. D. Yeah, we do appreciate that, George Ascula. And that is what we will do now. Hardy Davis facing a challenge from political newcomer, local businessman Gould Hagler during today's mayoral election. And News Channel 6's D. Griffin, kind enough to hang out at that party tonight where I guess it was not much of a celebration, especially in the past uh, hour, maybe 90 minutes or so, D. Well, everyone hung on to hope to the last second, actually, and it was a celebration of a newcomer who joined into a race three months ago and did his best and actually came out with some pretty strong numbers considering that he had never been in politics before. So this was a full place tonight, but everyone's gone home, but they're not out of hope. A lot of people told me they hope that he runs for something else. And speaking of him, the man of the hour here, I have with me Mr. Gould Hagler. How do you feel? Uh I'm tired. I've been tired all day because I didn't get much sleep last night. We've been working extremely hard for three months and uh, looking forward to a little rest and relaxation. Did you get the political bug? This was your first time. Are you now thinking, hmm, I could do this? Yeah, right now I'm uh, looking forward to just some time with my family. Yeah, yeah. that's good. And, and everyone was proud of you. They were cheering you on out here and no one gave up hope. It, it was a, a huge undertaking when we started three months ago and um, you know, it was, it was one of those things where me being a political newcomer and being unknown in a lot of the county, um, you know, folks some, somewhat had to be convinced that I could uh, be a contender. And I think the numbers show that, um, that I was a decent contender. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you talking to us and get some rest. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. We're going to send it back to the studio. Now some of his uh, family, friends, supporters out here still hanging in there with them. I'm Dee Griffin reporting live WJBF News Channel 6.